Welcome back to Fab Fun. My name's Logan, and we've got a lot of wood to cut up. But that's not what I'm doing tonight. Tonight, I've got this plan in my mind about something I would like to build. And I'm gonna try to save some money and get some hydraulic cylinders off of an old loader uh, that my brother-in-law Dave gave to me. We're gonna see if we can get these off here fairly easily. Might not be too bad, stay tuned. I don't know what kind of shape these things are really going to be in, but they did work. I doubt they're under pressure anymore. These lines are shot. I could just cut them and make it a lot easier for these to turn. But I think you're gonna make this work. I mean, I have to cut them all the way off. It'd be nice if there was still a little bit of hydraulic fluid in here so I'd know that these things didn't rust too bad just sitting here for the last two or three years. Now this loader, my brother-in-law got an Agco ST40 that didn't have the right brackets or the right loader on it. Somebody had taken a John Deere loader, like this would appear to be, and it was too big for the tractor. So they painted it and decided to try to act like it worked. <laughs> and uh, it was just, it wasn't right size for that tractor. We eventually messed up. I think I actually screwed up a little bit of the loader here with the wrong brackets. And uh, he ended up getting the right brackets and we kind of had to do some changing on them to get them to work. And he got a new loader, so. Done a lot of stuff over the years that should have been on video. I'm gonna have to get a pipe wrench on that. Maybe. Let's go get some more tools. bit of good and a little bit of bad. Got both of them off and did cut the hose there. Of course these hoses are so bad it doesn't matter. Um, I have to take that loose but when I got them loose and set them down we had some liquid that came out. We had a little bit of water. You see this is water and some hydraulic fluid. I'm glad there was hydraulic fluid in there. Hopefully it didn't get a lot of rust inside these cylinders and it still has good seals. Really hoping for that. 
Um, this one, I haven't got any. Let's see if I can put it up here a little bit. Set it up at an angle. Maybe I'll get some fluid out of it and it won't be all water. But I did get a little bit of water out of it. It's mostly, yeah, it's hydraulic fluid coming out there. Huh. They might be in okay shape. They might be all right to use. But I got a couple ideas. I just wanted to get them off so I could get the dimensions anytime I wanted to check out the fitting style on them and be ready to do whatever I want to do with them. But I'm not going to talk about that yet because that's sometime later down the road. Now, if you guys remember the little trailer that I got from my great uncle, it is getting reviewed right now. Um, I believe this is the Harbor Freight. It is a tilt trailer. It has a little hinge bolt here and then has a pin to pull. This wood is in pretty bad shape. This tire has already gone flat since I aired both of them up. But the steel, uh, apart from the paint flaking off really bad, the steel isn't too bad. I think it's easily salvaged. It will have to be repainted, but I would like to get the wood off of it and come up with a plan to use it a little bit better. There are several times when the carryall isn't what I really want on the back of the tractor, but it gives me ballast and lets me carry my saws. Now, if for some jobs where I want to be out, I don't need to take the tractor out somewhere, but I can jump on the four-wheeler. If I had a better trailer, I did have a small one, but it's being used to hold some hay for the goats, which is going to get changed. But without explanation on that, um, I'd like to turn this into something that's a little bit more usable behind the four-wheeler. And so I'd like to get this wood off here and figure out what I can work with.
Hey guys, well I didn't get as much done as I'd like to. Uh, evenings go pretty quick this time of year, so we'll just make a little bit of progress each time we work on this or do another thing. And uh, you know, maybe we'll be able to string a couple of videos together and, and make a full one or just do multiple parts so that we still have content each day and you guys will have something to watch. If you like the content, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time. Have fun.